Hello! First of all, I just want to say this is a new background. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not, but after filming my other video today, I kind of like it. It looks more professional, I think, than having my entire bedroom in the background. Because I am so professional. I'm not professional. Secondly, I am finally going to tell this story. I've mentioned it on my You Now a few times that I was fired from Ulta and that's led to a lot of you questioning why and how and what happened so I thought why not make today the day <laughs> that I finally talk about it because I just applied to Sephora. <laughs> So this is the story of how I got fired from Ulta. So for a little bit of backstory, I am always in Ulta and I'm always there because it's directly behind my house. Please don't find where I live. So I just, if I need makeup, I'm there. I'm at Ulta immediately. It's a quick walking distance. It's a two minute drive. Like I am at Ulta at all times. So the workers knew me and they started recognizing like, hey, she has good makeup when she comes in here. Maybe she should apply. And a few of them started telling me to apply because they recognize me every time I come in. They're like, hey, Nicole, uh, you need to work here. Like we see you here all the time. Like you should probably, you spend so much money here anyway. So why don't you apply? So I took it upon myself to apply last year around, I think the beginning of May, end of April, beginning of May ish is when I applied. And I didn't hear from them all summer until the very beginning of August. So I got the call from Ulta and the manager, we're going to name her Anastasia with an emphasis on the st because I feel like that really captures her personality well. My manager, Anastasia, uh, gave me a call and she was like, hey, I want you to come in for an interview. Keep in mind, like, the employees really sized me up here. Like, one of them put, like, a little sticky note that was like, call Nicole on her computer. And, like, she told me that she did that. So I knew that they were really trying to get me hired here. So she called me, she asked me to come in for an interview. I came in, I think like a few days later or whatever. Everything went really well. I was hired on the spot because charismatic AF. Um, and I was extremely excited because Ulta, that's like my dream job. I love Ulta, I still love Ulta, honestly, but we're, we're gonna get into that. So I was super excited for Ulta and I worked there the entire month of August as a prestige beauty advisor. So the difference between a prestige advisor and a regular beauty advisor is that prestige is paid a little bit more and we work in the area that sells like Benefit, um, and MAC and all, like all the uh, more expensive products is where the prestige people are, is where we work. Um, and then the regular beauty advisors are just kind of like stocking shelves of the uh, drugstore area, you know, doing like cash wrap, things like that. So I was a prestige beauty advisor. So I was here like advising people and shade matching and like doing my thing with makeup. So I worked there the entire month of August and then I had to go to college. So I was moving for the first time out into a dorm and that was a really stressful uh, entire situation right there but I had let her know like hey like I'm gonna be in school it's gonna be kind of difficult for me to come all the time because I don't drive nor do I have a car even if I did have a license which neither of them um, but I let her know that and she was really understanding so while I was at school for the first like month or two what we had done is that she would call just hoping I was available so if someone called out or they just needed some extra help in the store Anastasia would call me and she'd be like hey Nicole like I need you to come in we're, we're down like a person or we need a little extra help there's too many people here do you think you can come in and I'd be like okay sure I'd have my dad come to my college pick me up drive me over to Ulta and then when I was done with my shift drive me back to college and then he'd drive back to the Ulta area so it was it was really hectic with that but anyways during my first month of college I caught bronchitis and I didn't know I caught bronchitis until about three months in I think it was around November when I actually learned I had bronchitis I just thought I had been coughing a lot but it was really bad. So while I was coughing, you know, in the October range of me coming in and filling in for other people and helping out around the store, you know, I had talked to Anastasia and I let her know like, hey, I'm sorry, this is really stressful for me. I don't know if I can do this as often as I want to because I was working another part-time job on campus. Like I'm always working. So I was working there throughout the uh, school year and I had bronchitis and you know, on weekends or whenever I wasn't in class, I'd try to go to Ulta and it was just getting really complicated and I was coughing a lot and it was just really bad. So uh, Anastasia and I had a little talk and I was like, hey, it's hard for me to do this. I think I 
prefer to kind of not be called in until November when it was like Thanksgiving break because I knew by Thanksgiving break everything would be kind of settled down I'd probably be better feeling a lot better you know and then I'd have an entire week free because I'm not gonna be in school over the Thanksgiving break and she was like yeah I totally understand like she was completely understanding of this made a mental note she's like I got you Thanksgiving break you're gonna come back and I was like okay awesome like if you don't hear from me like that's what's gonna go on. And so that happened. So in about mid-October, I had gotten a call from Ulta and they were asking me to come in. And this was a little bit after I had discussed with her like, hey, I can't really do this right now at the moment. And, like, keep me on, like keep me hired and I'm gonna come back Thanksgiving break. And she was like, yeah, sure, totally, that's fine. I got a call from Ulta and they were asking me to come in and I missed the call. So I called them back and I was like, hey, it's Nicole. Like, can you let Anastasia know I called back? She was like, yeah, she's not here right now, but I'll let her know. I was like, okay, cool. I never got another call from Ulta after that. So I was like, okay, well, she knows that I called her. Someone told her, so everything's all good. Thanksgiving break rolls around. I'm pretty much done with my bronchitis at this point. And I decide to call Ulta because it's about time for me to start working back there again. So I called Anastasia and she picked up and I was like, hey, like I'm ready to start working again. My bronchitis is pretty good. Like I'm, I'm feeling really good. I think I can do this. Uh, when can I start again? And she says, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. You've, you've been terminated. First of all, who says terminated instead of fired? I understand you want to show off your SAT vocabulary, but just say fired. And I said what? Because we had this entire thing completely planned out. I had the conversation with her. She knew where I was going to be. She knew like what the issue was. And I'm not mad if she had just fired me for not being available, but she let me know that everything was going to be okay. And I was like, what? Like, we had that conversation. And then she says, oh, actually, well, we, we've reached out to you multiple times and no one's ever picked up. No one heard from you. I asked around the store. No one knew where you were. I didn't know where you were. I had bronchitis. I, we had that entire conversation, Anastasia, okay, about me having bronchitis. Do you not recall that? And I mentioned that. And she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I remember. Okay, so why are you asking where I was? And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. If you want to email the store with the hours that you're available, we're going to see if we have it in the budget to rehire you. So this entire time, my ass was thinking I worked at Ulta still. But no, they had fired me for having bronchitis. With no, no, no one says anything to me. Everyone pretends that they just hadn't seen me or didn't know what was going on. Everyone knew. <laughs> There were quite a few people that knew I had bronchitis. Like, this was a thing. I was coughing. It was intense. Anastasia knew I was going to be back for Thanksgiving break, and then she started acting like she didn't. But then, all of a sudden, magically remembered the conversation. Still acting like there was, like, a big reason, though. Still acting. So I emailed the store with my hours of availability, and I decided to be a petty little bitch. Not always am I, but today I was kind of feeling it. I was, I was a little angry. So I screenshotted my call log from Ulta. I screenshotted all of the calls that I've ever gotten, and I showed when Ulta called, which was once, and I showed how I had called back immediately after. I emailed that to the store. No one ever got back to me. And that's how I was fired from Ulta for having bronchitis. <laughs> I just want to put this out there. I was not a bad worker at all and that's not just me saying that I sold a lot of products when I was working in prestige like I consider myself a pretty charismatic person But I just like I know my makeup. I was doing a really good job Like she was telling me I was doing a really good job. Everyone was like good job Nicole like you go and I it wasn't, I wasn't being lazy, I wasn't slacking off, I was never like on my phone or just like dawdling around, like I was always doing something. So there was no reason for her to like passively fire me if anyone's gonna comment that, no. There was, there was no reason. If my availability wasn't gonna work, we shouldn't have had that conversation and sorted everything out and had me plan to have, because I would have had a separate job planned for the Thanksgiving break. I would have had that already set up had I known that I wasn't going to be working at Ulta anymore. And that really screwed me up because I was trying to make money over Thanksgiving break because I am a broke college student. Like I, 
need assistance in paying tuition, I'm, I need food money, I need clothing money, I, I need money at this point in my life. And I've been back in Ulta all the time after that's happened, but I've only seen her there like twice. And we've made eye contact and neither of us have said anything. It's just that silence, you know what's gonna happen if someone says something, kind of, we can't talk right now, just ignore each other. I just pretend that she's not there and I think she does the same with me. So I don't really know what the deal was because I was really climbing that ladder at Ulta. I was doing really well. I'm just kind of bothered that I was doing really well and then all of a sudden was completely cut because I would have been working there again, you know, every weekend and throughout the week a little bit as much as I could when my bronchitis was done. And it was done like right at Thanksgiving break. So that's what happened. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, yeah. Anyways, I applied to Sephora. So we're going to hope that that works a lot better. Uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Bye!